this one shocked the piss out of me. This is a book that, you know, near and dear to me. Oh, boy. But I was, you know, this book had been dead. Um, you know, you could get a, a 9.4, 9.6 for a few hundred bucks, maybe maybe 400 for a 9.6. Um, the Raws would usually sell 150, 200 bucks. Even after the show, it, it pretty much lulled. And I just I saw this sale for a Raw for 600 at auction. And noticed that uh, a nine eight had sold for like eighteen hundred. Another one in the the mid teens, and all the cheap ones were gone. So I don't know why. I mean, the show's dead, as far as I know. I don't know if it's just catching a new wave of nostalgia from you know the, the miscellaneous collectors new to the market or what. Uh, because, like I said, this book has been crickets. So. Um, I think for me, I know my cousin who is a longtime collector. Uh, he was looking for one a couple months ago, like maybe three or four months ago. So it, it might be, I don't know. I hate this. I always hate the word. We always say stimulus money, but it could have been that. But, you know, like you said, it could be new people coming in the market saying, oh, I remember 90s tick, right? I mean, everybody. Uh, and it is a slightly younger show than, than us. I mean, I enjoyed it, but like technically. I think in the nostalgia cycle is a few years behind like this, uh, the, the master's universe and that kind of stuff. So maybe it is just now hitting its peak. I, I don't know. It something to watch, I guess. Um, yeah. Crazy number for a raw book. Um, another one you just don't see all the time. This was dirt cheap in my opinion. Uh, yeah. I was going to say that doesn't seem high. That's Curse pirate low. girl. No, somebody got a steal signed yeah. uh, nine, eight. Uh, it's a rare book cool book got a huge kind of fan base for it uh this one just you know whoever got it if it's one of you deviants congratulations oh, yeah, thanks <laughs> thank you so me. much i appreciate it no i'm joking in all, all honesty that's not i don't find that to, unless you had like a lot of eyes on on your auction or your big retail or something i don't know who bought or sold the thing but uh that's probably, that's not the smartest book to auction. No, 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 no. Well, well, the that, thing too is that, that a nine eight SS isn't going to pop up very often when it, it's like you forget you you forget you're looking for it. You know. No, yeah. That's I've been looking for that book. book for years, and I honestly forgot to like look for it. It's it's been like maybe like two years, and I forgot already. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it, you you. So there's one of those books where like you just don't see it, so you give up. Mm-hmm. It, and it's not just this book. I mean, it's any Curse Pirate Girl book. You just don't see them. I, I think I got one last year. I saw one. Yeah. And you also uh, just keep your eye out for the uh, ye old Yore of Lore, which is uh, predates this one. And then there's the, you know, there's the Ultra Royer, uh, what, the Comics Pro one? Yes, yeah, Comics Pro, I think, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, Mash or whatever. some real valuable ones, but this to me was real cheap. I, I've seen, you know, raw sell for that much. Man. So. Yeah, Congrats. There's, yeah, there's a there's a couple of listings at 200 already, and that's just raw books. It's not even, I mean, yeah, for an extra $55. So. Dollars, if I would have seen that, I would have got it. I, yep. I truthfully would have. It wasn't even on my watch list. I just kind of caught it. Um, I don't see this one pop up too often. It's always interesting to see a sale on this guy, bad boy. Um for Dennis Barger, who did a nice impression of me the other night, I had a really nice one. I let it go, and Hall of, oh, uh, I hate this book with a passion. I really uh, do. Uh, one of the one of the guys from the group turned it into a nine eight when I did not think it had a chance. So, damn it, hmm. uh, Hall of Comics. That's right. Yeah, and that oh. did a. Uh, yeah, that was a. Uh, that was that was like that's another strange auction. You know what I mean? But the high start price and the one bidder. Yeah, well, that you know what I mean. You're just trying. Yeah, you're just trying. Oh, what well, says bid? I don't know. No, but it could have been like a bid with the buy it now price. Oh, okay. But it, I mean, right. yeah. But either either way, it's a strange starting price. That's Agreed. Like, I just don't see it. I always like that one. It's one that has no true reason to be as valuable as it is, but it just is. People love it. Great yeah. art. It's hard to find. Oh, truth. Um, it's the bubble. <laughs> In tribute to Mr. Longshore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was expensive before, though. It just was. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just an iconic piece of art there. Um, this next one, like, defies logic, because this book, in my mind, had been a $10 book for so long. Even a $5 book, you couldn't give it away at times, you know? And now a 9 8 pushing a thousand dollars that should be a green label because somebody painted over the uh newsstand 
box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I might have to get my grade it now at this point. I mean, I just, I I don't know. I, I get that everybody's specking on these characters, but is this one, is this one that rare? I don't think so. No, not at all. No, uh, no that's, not, that's not enough to put the plan. I mean, yeah. let's, let's roll this in with X Men Four, right, boys? I mean, I mean, there's probably yeah, but X Men Four is you know a few hundred bucks. This is a thousand dollars, man. <clears throat> yeah, there was a uh, yeah. I mean, on, honestly, I pulled these out. Of, it's not really happening anymore. But I, it, they they moved from the bin to the wall. But you know, I I I, I probably pulled twenty five of these at least. I probably at one point was just leaving them, oh, and that's yeah. after a lot of years of not even bothering to buy it. No, so. to buy it for ten to. You know, even if you get it a dollar, are you selling it for six? No, they weren't yeah. selling. Yeah. Um, so if you got copies, maybe it's time to look at them. Send them the big leg. Let them do some magic. Mm. Uh, Ghost Rider. I mean, Good Jesus Lord. Christ. This Woo! thing just, this one just skyrockets every time one's listed. It's higher and it sells. I mean, it is fast. Uh, I, saw, I saw a listing. Uh, if you guys are going to laugh. It said lot of seven or lot of six Marvel Spotlight dash or hyphen Ghost Rider hyphen uh, like Marvel or something uh, <laughs> had one pick I think with the five books all fanned out twenty four dollars buy it now with fifteen dollars shipping oh, in sell oh I'm sure so oh, again man. no grade but whatever so I remember I, I don't care if it I didn't have a cover it's probably worth that. Yeah, I think I I broke a <coughs> uh, broke broke GPA record when I sold. I was so happy. I think I got eleven hundred for seven five. Oh yeah, now now you yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But I got I, a nine zero for I got a nine zero for eight hundred bucks. So I thank I Nico every day because a couple of years ago I was about to I was even, maybe eighteen months ago I was about to sell my eight five for I think thirteen direct and he's like no don't do it and I didn't and thank God yeah um. I mean, th this one just everyone that gets listed is higher and sells. Do, do you sell today though? That's his question, or do you, or you just hold? Are you, I mean, I know Legs holding because that's his favorite I, character, but do you I, do you hold? I don't know. It keeps going up. I'm just gonna sit on it, man. I've I've sold enough Marvel keys that I'm done for a while. I'm just yeah, I, get, I have no reason to in coming in the future of my life, hopefully to <laughs> to list it for sale for a while. I just gotta. I've been so happy to have it for so for so long, and it also made it. It made it easier to sell every lower grade copy that I had because I'm, I'm not, I probably had six or eight of them or something. What's like your that. What's your nice one? Um, I know. Oh yeah, shit, man, that's a that's gonna push five figures soon. Yeah, he did. He did friends and fam for eight hundred. Very nice. But that you know, new, that, was a, that was a few years ago. Hey, that new mutants ninety. That no, that new mutants annual. That's a that feels like a fluke. This one doesn't. No, no. That well, the yeah. New Mutants. There was another. It's it's been selling high. I don't get it. I really hey. don't. New. Listen, this is this book is serious. Find it in high grades, tough. I mean, less tough than it used to be, but mm -hmm. you get an eight hour or above. It's do you tough. think? Th do you think that New Mutants annual is selling because of the uh, Peach Momoko series? No, Man, uh, maybe. No, everything everything X Men is high. <laughs> it's a different uh, Psylocke, anyways. I know, yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, yeah. like, are people are people seeing that series and they're going, "Oh yeah, I want I want to go find Psylocke's first appearance," and that's huh? why we're seeing no. them sell all of a sudden. Go get Captain Britain number eight. <laughs> I, 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 I have one at nine. I six. think there's a, a better likelihood that people are thinking about the X Men coming to the MCU. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it. Bishop's hot, uh, Omega Red, all of them. Um, it just, it, I mean, I know Psylocke's a big character, but man, her her books are so screwed up and the number and the appearances and this version and that version and this, you know none of them are fantastic covers I, you know it's just a weird book that's not the one I'd be putting my money on I mean I get it's a type 5 list but again he's got such a a convoluted first appearance line so it's not it's just not one I would put my money in now, if I found one cheap and could send it to leg and get a nine eight, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's a book I'm buying raw. Not all right. I'm not, I'm not swinging nine eight on it. Some of the berserkers are coming back with the SS. Yeah, wow, that was fast. So, what were they pre-selling at? Right around a grand, 
Two yeah. Grand. One, yeah, one to two, and then you had to take a bunch of other crap books you didn't want to get it because they didn't yeah. have room to store them. I saw somebody was selling his for thirty five. So that's just, I mean, I mean that's not a bad play. I mean, you double your money on a quick one, and I, who knows? Who knows on that book? I mean, is he going to sign anymore? Yeah, and like you can have your you have your friends over, and like even though they'll pay attention to comics, they're all going to think it's cool. You got something autographed by Keanu. Oh yeah. <laughs> so nobody hates I, that guy. I, and I, I forget how this worked. Did, did this? This didn't come pre-signed, right? Yeah, pre-signed, and then they and then CGC was get uh, let any store that wanted have the option of sending it in to get slabbed without the and still getting the yellow signature. Yeah, because apparently they were all I don't know they figured it out. There was oh. some yeah, cool. I think <laughs> I that, so. Yeah, I I don't know I, that one was one I'm like, it doesn't feel like a risky buy-in. I just don't have the money to throw at it. Yeah, I mean cool look. I mean, how, how rare is Keanu's signature? I mean, after this, obviously not, but I mean, how many, you know, like... Well, I mean, I don't think he signs stuff. He doesn't go to cons. Yeah, that dude, he does. He definitely doesn't need the, the fanfare yeah. Yeah. to sit through a convention. Even like 500 a pop, he's probably like, nah, dude, I'm good. But do you think <laughs> you think he does SDCC if he gets a Marvel movie? I mean, you didn't get... I mean, like, when he, I, if they probably have... If he have if he had, like, some, some mega Marvel... And they had the Hall H panel or something. I could yeah. see him show up to that, but I I couldn't see him sign an autograph. No, he doesn't gonna do it. Like he's just not a person that likes publicity like that. He isn't gonna want to sit there and glad hand. So I mean, what, what do we think? There are five hundred ish of these, maybe less. I don't know. No, I, I don't know. I was thinking probably over over a thousand. Was there? Well, there's a one in the hundred. No, it's a one in a thousand <clears throat> or one in a thousand. And it was a, what six hundred thousand. Was the guesstimated print run of this bad boy? They probably made it. He probably signed a thousand of them. I don't like, know. Yeah, I want to say that it's coming in in the Comics Pro um, attendee pack, but I could have sworn I heard something like that. But maybe, maybe, maybe it was like the one in five hundred rather than the one in thousand. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, blue green says a six hundred k. So to me, it feels like there's five six hundred of these bad boys. And Keanu Reeves does actually sign quite a quite a few sh stuff, man. There's a lot of his autographs right. out there, but That's they cool. look it looks totally different than that autograph. I'll tell Wait, you that right they now. Like, they're not like he doesn't do sit there and do like con signings. Well, look how different the autograph is. Here, pull that down real quick. I'll have you put it back up in a second. Look at this. So let's look at some of these autographs. Yeah, just the standard Keanu on them. Yeah, it, like it doesn't look like. That same autograph, which is crazy. Well, you know, we, we talked about it. Um, I guess somebody who was a major league pitcher talked about how when you sign cards and stuff, and we always bitch about uh, sports athletes just making lines and stuff. When you're doing a thousand books at a time, dude, you're just trying yes, to rip through as much point. as you can. Yeah, you know. What I'm well, I think it's I think it's almost different with one that that's up. Go ahead and put it back up, John. That one is he took his time to actually write his yeah, autograph so on this too, one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the difference between like uh, my driver's license or like me signing the ATM slip, and getting this whole pack. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. one's yeah, like, I mean, oh, someone else is gonna see this. Yeah, this is this. He did nice. I mean, that's a, that's a great display. Looks good. So can't complain. I I don't love the super high ratio, but damn it, I, that's a cool looking book. Oh, I wish you would have signed it in a different color. Yeah, are they all signed in the same spot? I assume so. Gold would be great. Yeah, gold would have been dope. I don't know. Still I like how it is, man. Silver's always better. All right. Um, this is another weird one I just happened to see. 9-8 uh, of the old uh, Valiant Super Mario Brothers Special Edition. I don't actually recall seeing this particular one before. Um, I've never seen it. Never. Uh-uh. Those, va those Valiants are rare. Yeah, they're tough. I mean, we always see the preview one cell. I see some of the number one cell. I don't know that I've seen this cover before. So, something to watch out for. I'm sure oh. Raw's sell very well. I'm sure. I'm. I'm. I'm it's funny that Probstein actually. Uh, Probstein actually sold it. It was funny. Yeah, I thought you'd pick that out. Um, another one from the back issues that you guys should be looking for, I guess. Uh, Mortal Kombat Midway Comics. Jesus. Sell that yeah. now, man. Yeah. yeah. That was the time. The time is now. Get digging. I have an old Bruce Lee comic from, I think, 
that that they're in. Is that an early appearance? If anybody in the chat knows that, let us know. I have some ridiculous Mortal Kombat book on eBay for like four hundred bucks right now, nice. and I keep getting and it's beat to hell. And I don't is even it the where Mortal Kombat it. two one from the video game? Uh, no, it's I don't know. It's a, yeah. I don't know a lot about it. You can't find a lot. I just asked for a lot of money. I keep getting I keep getting um like uh like like two hundred and fifty dollar uh, offers and stuff. But I'm, and I'm just and I'm like uh I just keep asking back for three something. Maybe we'll have. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Fairly. That's one that has a limited shelf life in my mind. Yeah, a lot of those books are hitting high prices, though. I mean, so yeah. if you have the books, now it's time to dump them. Like everyone I, says. I got a whole run of Mortal Kombat cards. Like, <laughs> is that worth something? Probably not. Just say, add PSAM to the listing. The rookie fine. cards. They're rookie cards. Yes, PSAM <sighs> rookie cards. Yeah, Mortal uh, Kombat 4 Limited Edition, uh, the Midway Comics oh, 1998. Nice. For that series. I don't know where I got it, man. Apparently, people want it. Um, so I, I don't know. Just price checking this guy. Um, though Doc Joe sent me randomly, and I couldn't find the image that like a newsstand sold for four K, but the, rich, the traditional's down to one K a bit. So huge discrepancy in those. Four K for yes. a newsstand? Oh my yes. god! Yeah, dude. That's ridiculous. So I huge spread in newsstands, picking up a lot of uh, traction everywhere. We've talked about them the past couple weeks. Um, this one shocked the piss out of me. I mean, it's a cool cover, but oh, Nico's I'm aware be yeah, it's got a McFarlane yep. and a, St a uh, Stan Sig. But I, I, I made offers. I, I'm not sure if it's the same one, and I don't remember if it's new stand, but there was a 13 double signed on eBay forever for like, I think I kept trying to get it down to like for like 200 bucks every once in a while and just yeah. kept getting denied and uh, still don't own it. So. Yeah, I mean, this book, I, I don't know what, what's a McFarlane and a stat and SIG add in, you know, maybe 500? Uh, I would, no, I would probably say 750, probably. It's like 500 for Stanley all day, and then, I don't know, a couple hundred maybe for McFarlane. Yeah. yeah and, and, and also when he actually spells Todd. Yeah. It's like seriously a thing. <laughs> when you get the Todd instead of the T McFarlane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always get in line early for Todd because then his signature works. is like super nice. Yeah, it's like both. super cool and drawn yeah, out. You know? Yeah, so I, I cool. That particular book is a cool piece, but <laughs> man, James it, said the same thing, Sean. Huh? Pricey. I don't know that that's the book I want to, you know, break two K on. But if you got money to burn, why not? Yeah. Um. Was a Tana. Oh, uh, this man! I sold what, nice. when, whenever I parlayed my eight fives into the nine six. I was selling eight fives for less than this. We held on ours forever, right, Sean? Forever, and can then cut it. I have one raw left. Yeah, I think it's only two years ago that you could get an eight five for eleven, twelve hundred bucks, maybe thirteen on a bad day. Yeah, totally. Um, and so I haven't, I've been watching, I haven't seen much high grade hit. Um, a nine Oh was up for a fast minute and was pulled down. So I assume a private sale happened. Um, another book that was up for a hot minute this week was a crow one nine eight. I haven't seen a nine eight hit the market anywhere since last April. Um, and it was pulled down quickly. It's had a like eight thousand or best offer, so I would have loved to see what that one hit. But a lot of a lot of books getting listed and pulled, especially on that top end tier. Um, just a Harley price checked three hundred dollar or three thousand dollar book, not a newsstand. So wow. continuing to eke up the ladder there. Uh, this one, this one's gonna. Make you guys piss your pants. Oh, good lord, dude! It, Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. Right? It was it was under a grand for a minute, and you know it went back up to three. We're all like, okay, it was it was three when the movie hype was up, but seven. Mm. What was what was it at? Um, what was it at? Uh, like three four years ago when it, it was, when it went it nuclear was, again and uh, Force plus. Awakens. No, nine eight was, was no. When it was, was peaked out before, it was two or three thousand, three to maybe a tad over three. Okay, so yeah. I mean it. It is, it, it is going fast and heavy because I even looked at 
I told mentioned I looked at a at a thirty five center in the last twelve hell even it made me the last eight months and it was a reasonable price and this is crazy. I might sell my nine six now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it might be worth it, man. This is a book that I, I gotta think is going to be a cycle again. It can't sustain this price in my mind. There's a lot of them, even in nine eight. I, I know, I know. We talk about the sports card guys coming in and going, but. I, Star Wars is such a book that seems to go ebb and flow, you know? I talked about this book a couple of videos ago, a couple of um, haul videos ago. And at the, I came across a really high-grade copy at around, it was like the end of 2020. And it was like $130, right? And yeah. I was just kind of looking and seeing it really wasn't going for that much it was oh. like maybe selling for like 150 for, from what i saw yeah you know so i kind of passed it off to a friend of mine and then like a few weeks later like maybe a month later the book just blew up it, it, at least from where i'm at least no, from it, it is it is you just know? taken off like i remember just thinking well all this other star wars stuff is going crazy people are going yeah. over the modern stuff the dark horse stuff and and this one's a little low, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll make a move. And I, you know, I got distracted by something else flashy, and and didn't. And all of a sudden, you look back, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, so, I've only seen like a thirty five center like once, in in person, like just shopping at LCS, and it was a graded copy like at a six five, and I want to say it was like six k. That's about right. You're you're paying yeah. about a grand a point. Yeah, I never thought anyone took this book seriously. You know what I mean? It it, it didn't feel like. It felt like you had to wait to get to the Dark Horse stuff before you took Star Wars seriously. And this was just felt like a novelty. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's everywhere in, in yeah. our minds. Maybe it's not anymore. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's just not. I don't know. I just it That one, of all the books this week, that one blew my mind the most. Um. Uh, this is Nico just threw me this one. Just cool skull cover, rare book. Does not come up very often. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to do the census on it, but you know, double skull can't beat it. Uh, this is another nefarious book on the list. <laughs> Only a nine four, two K. I think. <laughs> I, like, I don't know if there's a more kind of contested what the heck book than this one. So, and notice know. nobody says a damn thing. <laughs> well, right. I, I tell you what, hey, I came across a number 94 with uh, with the with the Georgievec art in, in the interior. So, uh, is that 15K then? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at, at a 94, absolutely. Okay. But yeah, man. This is just this is one of those that uh, I, you always hope to come across in like the dollar bin or something like that, but yeah, not yeah. yet, not yet. Yeah, it'll be in those in those like non bagged and boarded dollar bins where everybody's yeah. been too lazy to go through them and get their hands <laughs> dirty for a long time. Yeah. And just all of a sudden, yeah. you're like, oh shit! It's all scraped up front and back. Like, I tell you right. what, if you go like this and you start sneezing, <laughs> you, you have good boxes. <laughs> All right. Um, just, I think this is the first one graded the nine nine. I mean, we all knew they had real nice um, stock covers, so we expected a lot of high grade copies of this. I, you know, and most of the ones we've seen so far have been nine nines. Yeah, some nine <laughs> so nine nine, nine eight. So, um, it, it's a little bit of the Batman damned scenario where it's just such a nice uh, wait for wait for book. a ten to roll out. Uh, I mean, I, again, who knows on this book? I just. I don't. I don't have two K to drop on a nine nine like that. Is a nine eight the equivalent of a nine six? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if, if you get enough nine nines, yes. And I mean, look. I mean, try and sell Batman. Damn nine eight. Why well, would you buy it? Look, lenticular, all lenticular covers. Yeah. I don't count, but. So, uh, this one hurts a bit. Uh, had had this book for a hot minute. Didn't you roll into the gym eighty three though, or didn't you? Didn't you? No, I sold the gym eighty three the same day. Then I oh. I got this in that deal. Yeah, and then at right. the end of the day, a dealer was walking around. And I'm like, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Do you know? Do I take this money? And you go, yeah, put it in your pocket. Yep. 
<laughs> it's a good sale at the time, but man. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to think. I mean, this was, what do you think, Z? That four was years, four years ago, four yeah. Four or five years ago, yeah. Yeah, so I, <laughs> it's one of those, man. Well, yeah, you, we could have found a bunch of copies too. If I mean, if you looked hard enough, there. I mean, yeah, it, it's not. It's a nice book. It's yeah. still. It's. It's not quite Ghost Rider nuclear, but it's right next to it. And I, and I actually think probably we start seeing some stuff come out about this show. It might. It might go even worse. Is that? Yeah, it should. I, I, I have it high expectations for this show now. Yeah, and that whole series is is low. I, I I don't know the sense, but that whole series is low and low and high grade. Yeah, and especially those later some of those later issues, but I mean, pretty much all of them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I've never even, I'm just, I've never owned this book. Really? Mm -mm. That's a shocker. I know. <laughs> uh, this is one you brought up, I think last week, two weeks ago, cause we were talking about books just going up. Um, the web of Spider-Man one 175 for nine, eight. I remember that was a 40, $50 nine, eight forever. Oh yeah. And you could buy it with cost of grading basically and shipping and you had it. There was just no incentive to get it. Um, so there's that. I mean, I, I think the low hanging fruit is just everything's going up and you want something cool. that's going to cost you some money now. Yeah. And I kind of been looking around for those and ju it just like the other stuff you're seeing, you're not the, the ratio, the ratio is a lot lower for the new stands. It has to be just because yeah. I've been paying attention. I've actually been paying attention to sales. Huh. So, it's newsstand's an interesting play. So here's one. This uh, hurts me more and more every day because I gave my nine in away to Koi <laughs> I, for three hundred bucks. You guys, you guys remember that back in the day? Like, yeah, Koi okay. didn't get one. Koi was complaining all the time. He couldn't find one. Your boy Dino got one, pressed it nine eight, and gave it away. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I, I, I had two nine eights. I had zero. Yeah, well, I just but look at the these these sales happen within a day. Mm -hmm. I mean, a CBCS and a CGC almost double the price. I mean, one was an auction, one was a buy it now. So I, I assume maybe somebody bought the buy it now, and then everybody's like, shit, that's it. They went to the <laughs> auction. But, well, like, like back in the day, right, we have a CBCS 9.8, same name was Z. You could automatically flip that into 9.8. What do you think about now with the way grain goes? You think you crack that thing open and send it over? Or? I mean, I, I, I honestly, I would um, – I would I would try to inspect it really be on super well. I'd have to be completely completely convinced. And the other thing you got to realize, um, I forget I forget the exact what the back the back cover. This is white or not? But if this is one of the darker back covers or even those front colors covers, I mean honestly, even just sh shipping it around mm -hmm. in a slab around the country multiple times, like it it, it it's gonna move you know a micro compared to what it would do maybe in a bag and board. Uh, should move off you do it but like and, yeah. and those now that those covers are almost um you know seven eight ten years old for that when that marvel now shitty paper came out or whenever whenever they switched it like the years and years aren't, aren't being kind to those books so the paper's fucking cheap so I, i'm starting to see why those why the 98 keys are actually worth the premium on them and they're not and they're not coming back as as well as my as, as nine eights and they're just mm -hmm. yeah they're not they're not they, they don't press as easily as when they're new you got to be way, way more careful because that's just shitty ass paper. Uh, I don't usually go off of other auctions, but this was one I was, had been watching and knew was coming up. And I, I threw a bid in just shits and giggles because I didn't think I could afford it, but I did throw one in. Um, small auction house in New England area had this bad boy, a 9.8 SS Todd error variant. Ending bid Ted and K. Oh, that's the air. Okay. I saw. Wow. All right. There's three of them in 9.8. Two are SS. I, assuming the one that didn't get flipped into an SS, there's three of them. And I saw, uh, I, yeah, I saw one of them that when it was the only 9.8. And it was and it was not as nice as yours. What was yours? 9.6? Yeah. 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 It was not as nice as yours. There's like four color breaks on one of them. But I, it got whatever that SS bump it got right. out of it. So the 9.8. And I was just all, oh, this sucks. I was like, he got hosed because yours was way nicer. Yeah. Well, TJ's got it now. So, well, there you um, go. TJ's got it. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah. Well, uh, but you know no, I, I, that's a, that, I actually, I put in 7K on the damn thing just thinking, why not? But yeah. Whew. That's nuts. 
Um, I, honestly, I think if it were on Heritage or something else, it would have went significantly more. Like, this is just a small auction house with a comic auction. Um, there were some keys going at a slight discount. So I, I think this, if somebody really put it on and hit the big market, it would go huge. Um, some Silver Age goodness going nuclear. Ooh, Dino just said, yeah. hey, you want to buy a 5.5? Five, five? I know a guy with 18K, and I'm like, no, I'd, I'd like to not sell hey. you know, a kidney. Hey, man, I know people. T- no, it was funny. I, I don't even know it would be 18K. I bet you, I don't know. I mean. If, Anytime if we're talking over 15, is a lot. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I, I just don't know if 5.5 five is justified at 18K with a 3.5 at 8. I mean, that's 4, 4, 4.5, four 5, eh, maybe. I'd probably be closer. I hate to say it. Like, I mean, this is all theoretical. I'd be probably closer willing to do 15. Yeah. But, I mean. Um, a handful more here. Um, X-Men 94 continues to climb. Nico's going to be happy about that one. Yeah, he bought a real nice one that he yep. did very well on. Yep. Yeah, I saw it taken off two years ago, and, and I think that was about when I'm actually going to try to look up to see when I bought it. I remember but, you yeah. talking about it. Yeah, as, I was just as, uh, it's going up. I gotta. Um, I really need that. <laughs> oh, you remember that, Sean? I, I used to see those uh, all the time on every wall, man. Everybody had X Men ninety four, and it was like eight and a half. You know, it was like for like three hundred bucks back in the day. And I'm like, no, no, no. You know, four or five hundred nine. Just yeah. real talk. I don't get this book. This is my hot take. I don't like this book. It ain't got no first appearances in it. <laughs> it's just a. It's, it ain't no giant size X Men number one. Ain't even a ninety six. No, thank you. No. Is it cover, but is it cover art fire though? You like cover it, art? It no. ain't even got Wolverine on the bitch. No. Fuck, <laughs> fuck X Men ninety four. People will buy it. It's not one I love. Um, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> it's like the start of the there few more because I got to get out of here. But uh, you know, division oh, heat. This bad boy is still going real well. Yeah. I'll take um, over Z. Invincible did break two K on a nine eight. Oh, look who's showing up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> look at how happy he is. <laughs> oh, you made it back. All right. Um, I, again, Hulk Nuclear 9-0. Holy shit. Yep. Is well, that, that because one, it's the old label? I I think it would, would go that high anyways, but somebody's probably taking a gamble on it. Mm. Yeah, but it, I mean that... That's the that is the that is the old label. These this is the only label. Everybody's trying to pretend like the the yeah, last series of of labels like aren't like pressing wasn't available like eight years ago or something like that. But yeah. these ones are there's legitimately a decent chance if you if you especially if you know where they come from whether or not that book was actually fixed up. So okay. that definitely that label definitely contributed to that price most likely. Um, and then this is just a, a rare Baker book that uh, Nico saw. Hmm. It's crazy how he has her all tied up to a horse. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, I will let uh, Brian take over. I'll, I'll get a bounce, but uh, I'll catch you all uh, later. Bye, man. All right. Later, buddy. All right, here are some uh, – we'll go through these quickly, some crazy uh, things that I noticed. Uh, this is a gorgeous, absolutely stellar, beautiful, amazing Zion Williamson purple ice rookie. At a 150, sold for 6,500. Look how gorgeous that card is. Can I ask I, a question from a, a, a non-card person's standpoint? I feel like every week you show a different Zion Williams rare card that's like five, six thousand dollars. Now, do I just not pay enough attention? Are you showing the same damn cards, or are there like none of these are ever dozen? the same? So yeah. there's, are there like a half a dozen different? Zion oh. Williams cards that are like five, six thousand yeah, dollars. They're, 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 they're like variants. Yeah, they're, they're, like yeah, variants. they're variants. Yeah. yeah. This this is a variant. There was only 149 made, and it's got that purple so shine it's, to it's, it. Purple it crack yeah, crack it's the same. Yeah, it's the same pose, but different colors. I guess yeah. it'd be like uh, it'd be like the same cover, but like sketch and you know stuff like yeah. that. Um, this is interesting. A PSA 6 87 Ooh. Fleer Jordan sold for $405. A 6? Yeah. That's crazy. That's like 
Jesus Dude, Christ. That's like legit, Jordan, you can legitimately get sixes in your garage still that you didn't get. Yes. You know? I, I got yes. my Jordans in a stack just chilling, dude. <laughs> yep. <worry> yep. <laughs> Is that like my Facebook Jordan lot? Yeah. No, it's uh, a lot better. So uh, here is uh, my favorite Chipper Jones card ever. This is the 1991 Topps Desert Shield Chipper Jones rookie. Now, nice. a lot of people don't know about this set. In 1991, we were in the uh, you know Desert Storm conflict, and Topps sent over, specifically made for the troops, uh, baseball card packs to open while they're over there and every single one of them had that foil stamped palm tree shield on there super rare how many well, of those people i think do you i think had those when i was a little kid super 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 rare um you can't tell the difference from a regular pack or a regular box that's why it's so hard to find unopened and how many of them do you think even brought them back yet alone unopened all right this one breaks, this one breaks well, then, there it's like well, the uh the mark jewelers it's like the Mark Jewelers of uh, baseball cards. You're exactly right. Well, you got, You're exactly you right. got to think about this. I hate to say it, like the sand and the elements too. Like you know, oh. it's like yeah. you think you think they had. I mean, sleeves over there and stuff like that. No, you know, like, no, no, no. Look how beautiful uh, that card is to be for being raw. Um, yeah, four hundred and fifteen bucks. Really cool. This is a uh, shout out to Jesse James. Uh, this is the 1966 Batman playing cards. Batman number one, a PSA 10 sold for $3,200. Pretty freaking crazy that the thing's in a PSA 10, but pretty cool. Uh, Michael Jordan, 1992 beam team card. Great card. When it first yeah. came out, everybody were looking for the beam teams. They were one per box. Um, and uh, this is a Jordan, and it's going for $635 raw. Crazy. Uh, Wander Franco, this is the 18 year old kid. He might be 19 now, but I think he's, I don't think so. Maybe, I think he's still 18. Uh, that we were all going crazy for when we first started getting into cards here on the show. Uh, here is his speckled auto rookie, sold for $4,500 in a PSA 9, or I mean, a, a Beckett grading 9.5. This is a gorgeous 1997-98 uh, Fleer Metal Precious Gems Kobe. Um, they, these uh, cards are super hard to get. They were really overlooked when they came out. Not very many people cared much about it, but uh, the Jordan in these cards sell for a ridiculous amount. And as you can see, here's a Kobe rookie that's over 20000 One bit, I get it. It could be you know weird, but these cards are that rare. So... And very, very, that's why it's not graded because they're very, very uh, condition sensitive. Uh, this is an unopened pack of 7980 OPG hockey, uh, trying for a Gretzky rookie, an unopened pack, which can easily be, um, what's the word, searched and then put back together. There's people that know how to do it. So you got to be careful when you're buying not graded. You, you want to buy graded or, or, or at least made sure that they made sure it was authentic, but this sold for 3,900 Canadian. Um, but there's so many cards in that set trying to get the, the Gretzky in that set is so hard. There was like 700 cards in the set or 600 cards in the set, I think. So that's absolutely bonkers. Brian, um, you, remember, you remember that Gretzky I do was I, I texted you about and he was selling out that uh, Columbus show and I was yeah. like 600 bucks and you told me no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. This Pele rookie, so we talked a little bit about it last week. It sold for $340,000. Not bad. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to have to grade mine. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. How about this? A Wayne Gretzky. This oh, is uh, wow. this is for each one of you guys to just give me shit all over again because this right here is the perfect example of my all time holy grail. It's the eighty. It's the seventy nine OPG Gretzky rookie. Yep. It's got the fraying on the sides that OPG had. It's in good condition. Got great color. This is my all time holy grail right here, gentlemen. Like I, I, there isn't uh, something like hundred forty thousand. Absolutely well, unbelievable. And the problem with this is like same thing with almost like Jordan. I mean, his records should be breakable. Gretzky's records Never. are not breakable. Like yep. the Sedin brothers together still haven't broken Gretzky's yep. records. 
It never happened. Yep. Your buddy TLC happened. Comics One wants to know if there's any update on the Miles Morales rookie card. Which I will get into uh, in a little bit here. I, I'm glad he reminded me. Uh, all right. So uh, SP Authentic Connor McDavid rookie in a pristine oh. 10 sold for $85,000. How about this one, guys? So the, grade, the, the Brady rookie on the right sold in January. It was a PSA 10. A PSA 9 just sold for 92000 Jeez. Yeah. Those are even those are numbered or anything? Yeah, yeah, they're out of. I forget. It's really it's it's they're not many. Okay. Um, it's not numbered on the card, but they know how many they produced. Is it like twenty five? Maybe it's like fifty. I think less than a hundred. I don't know. It's easy to look it up. We'll look yeah, it up here. Uh, okay, get into some of the uh, toy stuff. Be on the lookout for this in the tubs in the flea markets. This is the uh, Star Wars Republic clone gunship from the Clone Wars. This is what the troopers would fly in on. This was always a, a popular item for Star Wars fans. Um, loose, it sells for a lot of money. So Jesus. be on the lookout for this. Here's another one that blew me away. This is DC Universe Classics Wave uh, 16, the Robin. And I don't understand why this thing sold for so much. $255 for this thing uh, is unbelievable. And it's not that old. It's got to be less than 10 years old. Is it, is uh, it about maybe they didn't make many of them or it didn't sell well? Or If anybody in the chat knows, uh, let us know. Um, it will, uh, you know, it's very interesting. Um, here's another one. This is uh, no shit. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No. God damn it! I've been no. leaving those behind like an asshole for a long time. <laughs> so I knew this was gonna just blow people away because there's a lot of spawn collectors out there that have stuff <laughs> that they thought would be worth money that turned out it would it wasn't worth anything. Well, take a look. Your spawn Game stuff is starting changed. to become worth money. Yeah. <laughs> I, dude, I think I got some of these. I gotta go look for them now. Yeah. Oh wait, no. This is the $3. rare. This is the rare blue. I, I don't know what that means. The, the yeah, I don't know what that movie. means, but uh, whatever it is, it's a I'll lot of money. I'll make sure to put that, that in my listing. Figure. Yeah, 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 whatever it is, that's that's, that's crazy. All right, uh, here you go, Sean. Uh, for those wow. uh, those people that grew up with sisters, that uh, when you were into He Man and they had to be in Shira, here's your loose wow. Shira figures that are selling for. Damn. Ridiculous oh, Dude, I, gotta, I, I got, got a She-Ra figure right now. I love, I love She-Ra. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Hold on. Dun dun da da. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is worth something. So you're telling yeah. me? Yeah. Sweet. Somebody gave it to me for pressing books once. Nice, dude. Got Not the dollar nine dollar ninety price tag on there. Good old school. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Worth <laughs> some money now, my friend. Worth some AFA, money. Yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's kind of beat, but it still looks cool. It actually looked cooler on camera than it does in my hand. So. <laughs> well, yeah. $310 loose. So it's got to be worth something carded. Yeah. All right. Uh, Star or uh, Transformers fans. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is a G1 Megatron uh, open, but in immaculate condition. Everything is there. Uh, almost $1,000, which is crazy. This is a vintage prototype uh, Darth Vader rare figure case that sold for $8,300. Jeez. So, yeah. Wow. This is cool. This is a Movie Maniacs Texas Chainsaw Massacre's 18 inch figure sold for Jesus. five grand. No, no. What is Dude, up with that? Those were expensive gifts. Like, you, you're, <laughs> you were tripping over them. No. Yeah. Look at that, bro. Five grand. That's crazy, and yeah. probably the people that like have them don't don't even know that they have they have no that potential clue. sitting on their uh, chest. Because uh, 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 I don't know anybody that big enough of a fan like of anything that didn't have something like that laying around. They wouldn't take five grand for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I got a couple more here. Uh, this these ones though, I had. I, I want to... you to know we all really appreciate your education on toys. It's yes. like everyone's secret favorite uh, segment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Here's an interesting one, right? Um, this is – so on Modern Comic Mayhem, recently uh, they showed off a 1960s Superman um, uh, salesman's sample. 
And that's exactly what this is. This is a GI Joe 1982 press kit salesman sample that they would walk around and Ooh. show people. Ooh, and uh, cool. yeah, yes, yes. So right. the folder opens. It's got these pieces of paper in it that says, you know, what GI Joe is about. It was who was produced by Sunbow Cartoons. All that fun stuff. Talks Pretty about dope. the cartoon. Talks about everything and what channels it's already on. And trying to get more channels. You know, they would go to a TV channel. And, and show this and uh, look how cool this is, man. America's number one toy comes to television in the first ever syndicated animated miniseries. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, will star in a five in five cliffhanging half hours co-produced by Sunbow and Marvel Productions Limited. G.I. Joe will be distributed by Ca Claster Television Productions for early fall programming. I, mean, it says I don't know if it's fifteen hundred dollars cool, but it's pretty fucking cool. It yeah. is, right? I, I even go, I'm getting chills like hearing you read that. Yeah, dude. Like this is cool. Look at this. It, it talks about the Cobra Temple. It talks about the Cobra Satellite. Um, it's going on Carter Save Searches. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so it sold for fifteen hundred dollars. Pretty damn cool. Um, all right, here is another one. This is very interesting for all you WWE fans. Uh, I don't know why this sold for so much. Maybe uh, the chat can tell me. This is a elite Jeff Hardy seven inch wrestling figure, sold for twenty six hundred dollars. This is uh, his his run when he came back um, off of TNA back in a day, I believe. He came out and he was only there for a couple of months until they re teamed him up with uh, Jeff Hardy. So it's probably I'm going to say probably pretty rare that they. They came with that figurine, I bet you. So crazy, man. Like, but for twenty six hundred dollars, I don't you know. God damn. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely un unbelievable. It's probably, it's probably, honestly, it was probably released with the first wave and never never uh never ran again. Yeah. Uh this is an interesting one. Back to cards real quick. Uh can somebody explain this shit to me? What is it? Oh my uh, god. Ball rookie patch? Somebody put up a Lamello ball rookie patch one on one auto. That's a drawing from a kid. I've seen these happen. Okay, so this is a big Reddit. Is this thing. laundering? What is this? Money yeah, laundering? Yeah, this is money laundering. So I've seen a bunch of them go out, like Zion Williamson. And it's like some kid drew Zion Williamson. It says, it says item is pick is as pictured art yeah. card. Uh, yeah. Lamella Ball Rookie <laughs> Patch one on one on one condition is like yeah. new ship use, and it's like a little kid drew it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So this is a bunch of they always eighty nine bids. Yep. Yep. So they always go off. It's uh, it's like money laundering. It's probably one other person in him, and it's, and basically what happens is they build it up to a crazy, ridiculous amount. It's I've a seen throwaway those, account. Yeah, pretty much. I've seen Zion's go for like thirty thousand, just ridiculous numbers. You're like, what well, is? Yeah, this is money laundering. Okay, it's probably right. foreign countries. I'm gonna say. Finally, finally right. I found an artist that I'm as good as though. Like uh, I can here, literally do that. Yeah. Here's a for GI Joe fans. This is uh, some uh, schooling right here. Uh, this is um, a pretty uh, easy figure to get. You'll see this figure all the time. But what you won't usually see, and why this figure sold for two hundred and fifty-six dollars, is that microphone that's attached to his head. Mm. Huh. So that's one of the rarest parts in all of GI Joe figure collecting: uh, the Mahler uh, driver microphone. Uh, heavy metals microphone and the mm -hmm. Mahler tank driver. Um, and as you can see, uh, it went for $256 with the microphone. So even the microphone sells for that much. So I'm, I'm glad I'm not, I can't get into this, dude. I, I couldn't remember all this shit. I couldn't, it, dude, this is way too much. Well, here's the last one. And this is, uh, this is really cool. This is some history. Um, so for those of you guys that remember the original uh, Boba Fett, uh, came with a uh, spring-loaded launching missile on the back, and um, it started being hazardous to kids. Obviously, so they. I thought they, that was fake. No, no, no. It's one hundred percent real. So they put it out and th people got pissed. So they had to put a note in there. Originally it says note to consumers. Originally our star Wars Boba Fett action figure was designed to have a spring launched rocket. The launcher has been removed from the product from the product for safety reasons. If you're dis dissatisfied with the product, please return it to us and we will replace it with any star Wars mini action figure of your choice. Thank you for your support. And it has the, that's so cool. It has wow. the actual thing so this sold it's afa graded in 80 or cas graded uh which is like you know a different a, uh, action figure grader um and it sold for f almost 500 dollars 473 dollars 
So pretty interesting. Yeah, pretty the, damn cool stuff. I thought the only ones with the actual rocket launching piece was like prototypes. Well, it, it was, but you remember that they they showed that in all the advertisements that they were going to release right. it that way. Oh, so okay. when they came out, they had to put that in there. There's yeah. the rub that I didn't yeah. understand.